Hey, how's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to share with you um, my latest project, which is a 3D printed uh, prop of um, binoculars from uh, Blade Runner 2049. Uh, I printed this a while ago. Uh, it was uh, designed by a guy that goes by uh, the handle Donatron. <coughs> It was in, found in Instructables, and uh, I printed it out, and not realizing that the guy had actually mirror imaged the the prop, and uh, at the time I didn't think nothing of it, and just started printing it because it was quite a quite a long print with all the pieces that were in it, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't until I finished printing it that I realized it was it was flipped, and uh, I figured well I'm not going to print it again. It was I didn't want to go through the, the time and the expense. Um, so I sort of set it aside, and I thought, well, you know, I will do it one day. And then I saw the video of um, Adam Savage from Tested. Uh, he did a one-day build on it. And um, it sort of motivated me to get cracking on mine. And like I said, even though it was mirror image, it doesn't really matter. I was sort of, I was sort of growing to like it looking like this. <laughs> but um, Adam had actually done some mods um, to his version, and... I took on some of those mods myself and just put my own little flair to it. Um, so yeah, I've got some work in progress uh, pictures which I'll put up after this short video with some some comments on it and stuff. Uh, but I'll just give you a look around as it is now. The um, the beauty of this is that it uh, includes an uh, actual monocular. And now the guy that uh, designed it, the version that he, or the model that he had, was a little bit different to this one. I couldn't actually find that uh, available for me. Um, so yeah, I got one that was similar, and it, it pretty much fits, just a little bit different, mainly in this sort of section where you can control the knob. It was like a little bit higher. But um, basically, we have lights as well. And uh, I've made this little switch here, which once we turn that, we have lights on the inside here, and also on the front there, and there's one in there, but uh, you might be able to see it there, just add a light, it's a green one. And uh, I have this knob on the side, which I've also made a sort of custom switch for that too, so when you press that, uh, you have a flashing light in the center there, kind of looks like it's scanning for something something along those lines. Um, but yeah, majority of this is 3D printed, uh, apart from this, this strap and uh, the acrylic in basically all the lenses and of course the actual monocular itself. Uh, as far as what I've modified from the from the original 3D print, um, this section here was pretty much went right across like that and this didn't have a, a chamfer on it um, and like I said after seeing what Adam done uh, he had a picture of uh, the actual use prop so I kind of used that as reference and again it's different because I don't think this is here either that should be flat all the way across but regardless I sort of yeah, modify what I have to work with uh, so yeah so I've pretty much Took off that whole piece, redesigned this myself, redesigned these buttons, made this little flat piece here, cut it off, and all that sort of good stuff. Um, that's probably the main thing. The other one was this the hood cover here. Uh, the original design was to use a uh, foam, sort of craft foam, uh, like probably two or three millimeters thick, and to wrap it around like that, but I didn't really like that. And uh, so I 3D printed this myself to fit the existing uh, socket. Um, the strap is, well, it's kind of a vinyl, kind of maybe a pleather sort of thing. Oh, well, I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but even though uh, there's no vinyl, I'm oh, sorry, no, no leather in the Blade Runner universe, it, it, I thought it looked cool. And it was really much the only, only thing that I had around. Um, and I had these little, uh, what you, I'm not sure what you call these, might be called Chicago screws. It's kind of a socket and a, and a screw that you fit together. Um, 
I started off with this strap actually. I actually like this better. Um, so that was my original one, but the problem is it's a little bit too stiff, so it just <laughs> it just sort of sits there. <laughs> Whereas this one's a bit softer, so I can display it with it curled under like that, which I like better. Um, inside slide here. <clears throat> so the the way it's designed is obviously so you can so it actually works when you, when you look through it, you get sort of one eye looking at this picture, one eye looking at that. So when you look through it, they form the same image basically. So you'll have uh, the real world image with uh, this, uh, what do you call it, range finder on it. And if you can see in there, uh, you can see sort of a readout. And the way I did that was, um, Painstakingly <laughs> scratched in the uh, the surface with a, with a needle, so I printed out my design, laid it over the acrylic, and just sort of scratched. Sorry, laid it under the acrylic as a sort of a template, and uh, scratched the surface until I got it until I got it right, and took a few tries, but I got there. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Obviously the front here. Uh, I've smoked this acrylic here, just so it didn't see into the inside. I should have smoked this piece too, so that you can't see straight through it, but uh, I did try one like that, and when you actually look through it, it looked too dark, and you kind of look, you almost see yourself, your, your eye in there, which didn't look right. Uh, this section down here, I'm not really sure if I've finished with that yet, because it's kind of got some depth to it. I've added the uh, sort of al aluminum tape behind, and then tinted this lens um, red and I don't know, I kind of feel like there's something missing I feel like there should be a sort of sort of readout on that so I haven't glued that piece in yet I might come back to that and put something there um, now for these decals which we've got here and the uh, what do you call that whatever you call it <laughs> some sort of dial. Um, what I did was use aluminum tape as a background and then I printed the decals on clear clear decal film. So I put the aluminum tape down and then put the clear decal over it and it gives it a kind of a foil look to it which I think worked really well. First time I've tried that so there's something uh, useful for someone else who wants to use that. Um, now underneath, uh, oh, this is another area actually that I modified, so I, that was uh, originally flat right across, sort of bevel, bevel, bevel. <laughs> level with this surface, so I cut that out and made that little step in there with just some styrene sheet. Um, I made a battery compartment, so inside there's like a build up of styrene, a styrene box with the battery in there. I've got a photo of it, I'll show you later. In the, in the work in progress uh, pictures because uh, this is all screwed in and just takes time to screw it out, that's all um, and I've included like a sort of a tripod mount there again that idea was from Adam Savage which I thought was great um, that's pretty much it um, like I said I'll include some photos of uh, work in progress and sort of we can get in there, but probably not. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll catch you on the next one.